<laughs> and right now, dozens of people are up and out, ready, all ready. They are not preparing there for their Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, no. They're burning off those calories beforehand. They are running in the 7th Annual Tampa YMCA Turkey Gobble. The first race kicked off about 15 minutes ago, and the one-mile race took off just seconds ago. Now, Brianna Vegas is running that race this morning, but before she takes off, she joins us now live. So you ready to go, Brianna? Hi, good morning, guys. Happy Thanksgiving, and I am pumped. I'm ready to earn my dinner. I'm going to eat so much. I heard y'all talking to Paul about those calories. Yeah, I need to earn those for sure. So the race actually just kicked off. They are thousands of runners that came out. One of the organizers actually just updated me on the number, so there are pups here like this one. Oh my gosh, take a look at this, guys. Oh! So whether you have two legs, whether you have four legs, it's still important to get out and get active this Thanksgiving day. And here to tell us about the good cause that this is benefiting is Dawn Keto with the YMCA. Thank you for being here, Dawn. Oh, thank you so much for coming out and joining us today. We're excited to have you. Well, thank you. Tell us a little bit more about this program that it does benefit. It's called Live Strong. Yeah, so um, our race always benefits the Live Strong at the YMCA program, which is a program for cancer survivors. And so what we do is after uh, people finish up their treatment from cancer, they can come to the YMCA and get a 12-week program in a small group with other cancer survivors. Um, and they'll be working out together, they'll have some support together, and they get a membership for themselves and their family that lives in their household. Um, during that time, we've had a lot of people tell us that not only do they get stronger, but they find themselves again. So this is that opportunity for them to kind of come back to who they remember themselves being before the cancer. And you've worked with those people uh, straight on, head on. How has this impact changed you? How does it impact these people that are going through one of the toughest moments in their lives? Um, so many of them just, uh, you know, it starts with just a conversation before they even start the program and a lot of them in that moment realize they haven't even talked about the experience since they got through it. They kind of get through it and they, they tough through it and then they realize, oh my goodness, I haven't even really ever thought about what I just went through. So it gives them that time to process um, everything that they went through. It gives them that opportunity to um, meet some new people, to talk with other people who've been through it. Um, family and friends don't always understand that and get it from that perspective. So it just gives them support, gives them strength, it gives them just all those next steps that they need. And I love how you're doing that through exercise as well. So thank you, Dawn, so much. We appreciate it. Thank you. So although you can't register for the race, you can still get out and get active, which is what I'm going to do right now. I need to get way ahead of this line because my race already started. So I'm going to send it back to you guys and hand off the mic to my photographer, Eric. All right, okay. three, two, one, and she's off. Bye, Brianda. <laughs> she's going to do great.